then we also spend a lot of time pointing. You, you. Judging people and judging ourselves. We spend a lot of time doing that. And it has nothing to do with kindness. Passionate and poignant, this inspirational speaker invites others to awaken and join her quest to spread the message of kindness. Kindness becomes our friend. Kindness becomes our strength when we realize that the only person that we can really control is yourself. With power and eloquence behind every word, this is Lou Parker. So let's go, we're getting ready to get mic'd for the big speech. One, two, three, test one, two, three. Good. I have two mics today. Lots to talk about. Good afternoon, this is the KTLA 5 News at 1 o'clock. I'm Lou Parker. She's an Emmy Award-winning TV news anchor. Well, that means Lou Parker of South Carolina is the new Miss USA. A former Miss USA and author. But I don't want to talk about career because really what I want to focus on today is right here and right here. Because it, you're not successful here, you can't be successful out there. Whether it's on television, the red carpet, or on stage. When we begin to listen, we begin to learn. Lou has over 25 years experience in front of a live audience. Or maybe you're afraid to say I'm sorry to someone. Or maybe you're afraid to tell someone the truth. She's interviewed and met with some of the biggest game changers in the world. Hi, Lou, how are you? I'm really good, thank you, aw, thank you. Including Maria Shriver and Nelson Mandela. But Lou knows kindness isn't always a simple concept. In my dark hours and at night, there was shame and there was embarrassment. And there was me beating myself up, like, what the hell were you thinking? And what my life was flipped upside down. And I thought about it. I seriously thought about giving up on kindness. Sharing her personal struggles, Lou helps others redefine the word and accept the idea that kindness can be a strength and not a weakness in business and in our day-to-day -day routines. Maybe you've let someone down in your life or let yourself down. And we hold on to that, right? We hold on to that disappointment. We hold on to that failure. We hold on to that negativity. And why are we trying to be so perfect anyway? Right? We're all trying to be perfect employers, perfect employees, perfect moms, have the perfect body. Can anyone define perfection? Her message is universal and can go across any industry that would be interested in hiring her to motivate their talent and to get people to think outside the box of what a regular convention speech might be. And you can begin to ask these questions too. You can start asking, what do you want in life? What do you want that relationship to look like? What do you want your body to look like? What do you want the end of your life to look like? They're powerful questions. I, I recommend Lou for any group of people who want to improve themselves, who want to look at themselves differently. We're all like on this treadmill. I'm going to go to the conference and I'm going to make more money. And then I'm going to go on the other treadmill and I'm going to lose weight. <laughs> and that's all great and everything, but if you're trying to have a perfect life, it's not going to work. Audiences walk away empowered, understanding the power that comes when we use kindness to heal. As Lou We're likes to say, be kind to yourself. Instead of judging, you look at yourself, turn around and face yourself and say, I'm not gonna put my energy, I'm not gonna waste my energy on that person. I'm gonna look at myself and say, how can I improve my open house? How can I improve my sales? How can I improve me? I thought it was amazing and phenomenal. I'm so glad that I was able to come. And this time, don't worry about what everyone else is saying. Don't worry about, say it like you believe it. Love yourself. I am. Now turn to the person next to you and tell them. 